Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing well, keeping safe as always. Sumrak, lead developer on DayZ and creator of Namauska, started a kind of unknown diary treasure hunt within DayZ with coordinates and all those kind of things. I'll leave links, of course, to Sumrak in the description below, his Twitter, his website, and also all the information that you will need for this treasure hunt of these, these unknown diaries and locations that you have to find yourselves with codes. And this first episode is the Namausk Stories Awakening, Chapter 1. And we're going to kind of try and like a creepypasta roleplay it with the Russian accent. And so we are the actual reader or the writer of these messages. And we'll see how it goes. And if you want to see more, we'll try our best to continue this as we go forwards. I woke up in an almost pitch black environment, trying to gather my senses. Seen tiny bits of light coming through the other side of the room. I was inside. But wait. It looks more like some shipping container. Where the hell am I? Moments later, hearing some loud harbor-like noise outside, followed by a sound of seagulls flying away. What the hell happened to me? While trying to answer that question, I am hearing footsteps outside. A metal, a metal feedback. I am definitely on a ship. Wait, it's two people. Are they talking? Looks like they are. Can't understand anything. But something tells me I should. My head hurts, unsure from what exactly. Maybe long sleep? Did someone put me unconscious? Then it came. A loud bang. Probably some explosion not too far away. Followed by an intense firefight. I am hearing those two running around somewhere. Possibly help? Another loud bang. I am losing it again. I woke up again from the smell of burning rubber. But also feeling a bit more refreshed than the last time. I walked outside of the shipping container and have seen an aftermath of some fight. The ship I stayed on remained mostly intact, but some ropes around caught on fire and was still somewhat burning. But I was really at some harbor, unknown location. The weather felt a bit chilly, but not that much. I left the door open for the light to come in, trying to get anything useful from this improvised room or a cell. I have managed to find a way to the harbor pier. The place was abandoned. I thought that there would be some bodies after the firefight, but no, not even bodies. Just very deteriorated, perhaps post-Soviet era harbor. Everything shall sure looked as Eastern Europe place, perhaps Ukraine. I went to some guard house and found some papers. A mix of Ukraine and Czech texts? I can't read really Czech, but can somewhat understand Ukraine. Found some shipping related papers. A container full of relief supplies from Venice, Italy to Primorsk. Generous. That would explain a lot. But how did I get here? Then finally noticed the date October 15th, 2011. How the time could slip so much. But it at least explains why I can't remember anything from the past two years. I decided to get out of there as quickly as possible. Managed to snatch some layers of clothing. Found some supplies in one of the marked containers. Packed my bag as much as I could and walked away through some rather abandoned warehouse area. And then I have seen it. City of Primorsk itself. Smoke coming from several buildings across the bay and sounds of gunfire in the background. What the hell happened here? I have decided to switch from the road to the forest next to it, to remain somewhat hidden. I have bumped into what seemed a very improvised roadblock. Then I have seen it. Bodies of police officers and soldiers next to bodies of what looked like unarmed citizens of the city. I kept telling myself, this is not happening. Wake up, wake up. Then I have heard some noise, a crack, 
perhaps a branch falling from the tree? No. It was a person walking close to the road ahead. My instinct was prompted me to shout at the person. But the only thing I got back was a scream. Followed by erratic run towards me. I have switched my priorities. Start searching for anything I could use to defend myself with. While searching, I have noticed bullet wounds on one of the police officers that had handgun next to him. Grabbed it, quickly tried to think of the steps I had to do when using a weapon. Few bullets left. Turned around towards the person, now literally 20 meters in front of me. It was a woman, maybe in late 40s. Wounds on her face and hands. I have raised my weapon and shouted at her to walk away. But no reply. I shouted again, and again. I kept telling myself this is not happening. I do not want to do it. As she was literally meters away, I saw fear in her eyes. Then pressed the trigger. This is it. This is what I call a welcome to a new life on my own. In a fucked up world, I am Alexei Yeremev, advanced material scientist from Vladivostok University of Nanomaterials. And this is my story.